to share with you guys a few uh, another mission story. Uh, this one happened to me when I had to go make a trip south to the south southern part of the country where I was living, and I was kind of concerned because my back tire on my motorcycle was bald, very bald, almost so bald that I wanted to spray it with mosquito repellent so that a mosquito wouldn't bite it and it would go flat. So I was kind of worried, but I thought, Lord, I've got to go tomorrow. I've got to pick up this truck way down south in the country and uh, it's going to be a long ride, but I think that old tire will hold out for me. So. I started out early in the afternoon, but halfway on my journey, I had to stop at the government, the capital city, and do a bunch of paperwork. So I stopped there, but the paperwork, as always, took a lot longer than I thought. And so by the time I finished, the sun was setting, and I had to finish the last four hours of my bike ride, oh, maybe more like five hours of my motorcycle ride in the dark. Now. I was kind of, you know, I'm not worried about riding the motorcycle or riding in the dark, but I was kind of worried about that bald tire on the back because where I was riding, there were no houses, nothing. No one would be able to help me if I had a flat tire. So I prayed a special prayer and I said, Lord, will you please protect me and help my bald tire to make it to the, the south end of the country? And I started out on my journey and I rode up and down hills around corners and through potholes and kept riding. And it was cold. I got my jacket out and put it on and I kept riding. And I rode till 8 o'clock, then I rode till 9 o'clock, then I rode till 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and I finally got to my destination at midnight. And I, I had, a, it was a truck I was picking up, so I had to load the bike onto the back of the truck. And I started the truck and I had to drive the truck back two hours back up to where I was going to pick up a container at a port partway up the country uh, going back to where we lived and so I drove the truck and uh, I got to near where the port was and I parked the truck and I went to sleep for about oh I'd say maybe three hours how many of you guys have ever slept in the back of a truck I never sleep very good in trucks I kind of dozed a little bit but then I finally got I got tired and I of sitting there and so I went and I got my motorcycle back down and I went to drive to check out another town that I wanted to see. So I drove another hour on my motorcycle, no, almost an yeah, hour and a half to see this town and I came back so waiting for the port to open and when I got back to that town I saw a friend and I said, hey friend, do you want to ride? He said yes. And so I put him on the back of my motorcycle and I hadn't even drove probably 20 feet from my truck and you know what happened? I got a flat tire, but I was so thankful to the Lord that he helped me drive those many, many miles and kept that tire from going flat. I had to push the bike back up on the truck and drive the truck to port to get my container out. But that was a, such a miracle. In fact, I got that container out that day, just the day before class was starting where we lived. And we, God just opened the door and made a way, and he even knows how to keep tires from going flat.